Hello friends, it's Drew here with some cute puppy dogs in West Grove, Pennsylvania, actually getting attacked. This is wonderful. And I wanted to show you the after results of this uh, deck that we've been working on for the past couple weeks. And uh, we got our beautiful uh, approval of inspection. So we thought we'd uh, let you guys take a look and see what we got going on up here. We'll stand back out of the way and give you the wide shot. So if you remember, this deck used to be about 10 by 12, just right here on this end. And it stopped right over here between the two windows was all we had. And uh, they had their awning over top here and they just wanted a little bit more space to move. And uh, the grandkids have been coming over more and they wanted to be able to use more of the space outside. So we started working on some things for them here. So what we did is we added another um, eight feet out that direction. And then uh, out here to the end, 12 feet out to the edge and uh, brought this together. We were initially talking about matching the original railings and uh, leaving the old decking on one side and putting new decking on this side. And then the customer decided that they wanted that rain escape system put in that we were showing you on some of the earlier videos. So we've got rain escape completely underneath uh, everything here. So any water that gets down through the deck uh, is going to land in that rain escape system, come down here to the funnels and from the funnels exit out through the gutter, um, which is downstairs. So we'll show you that part in a little bit. So that part is complete, but because we we're gonna do the rain escape as opposed to an undermount system, then we needed to take off all the decking. Well, if we're gonna take off all the decking, then we are absolutely going to uh, go ahead and offer the option to just put all new stuff in. If we're putting all new stuff in, then we might as well put new railings in as well, as opposed to trying to just match what was there. And so new deck, new railing, all the way across. We've got the joist tape on there and uh, of course, the rain escape system, and two very happy puppy dogs who are just absolutely excited. They have all this wonderful space to uh, to play in out here now. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to stand up and give you the wide shot from over here, so you can kind of see where we're at on this side of things, and then we'll take you downstairs, and we'll let you see that as well. So beautiful space. Of course, we still got the awning that can come out to shade the part that they want, and now they're able to enjoy everything that's going on back here in the back. So this is the wide view that you've been used to seeing throughout this project here. Kind of give you the walk around. And of course the new uh, skirt board all the way across. Nice and continuous. Uh, the customer actually decided they liked the look of having two posts here in the center that wasn't required. We didn't have to do that. We could have gotten away with just one that was centered. Uh, but they kind of decided they, decided they liked that look. So we went with that. And uh, then of course the new stamp cement. We touched up all of the stonework here on this wall and, and redid some of the, the grout lines and cleaned that up and acid washed everything. Got rid of the old brick that was here and then poured the new stamped cement patio. And then we got to do a little bit of dirt work here to just kind of finalize some things around that and, and bring the level up of the grade up to where it needs to be. So we've got our deck here. Let's show you the rain escape system from underneath. So you can kind of see the after picture. So you'll see that the the valleys are very shallow at this end, up by the house, and there's just not a lot of depth to them at this end. But then as they come down, we're going to spin the camera around. As you go out towards the rain gutter, um, you get down here and you can see where we've got these funnels that collect at the end of those channels and drop things down into the gutter, which comes down to this end down here and is eventually going to have a downspout that goes down to that pipe. It currently leads to daylight and we will get that down and out into a drain box eventually. So that makes this space underneath here completely dry in the rainstorms because we're catching all the water in that Trex rain escape system diverting into the gutter. The gutter is going to drain into the downspout and it's going to leave the space. So if in the future the customers ever decide that they want to uh, do something else in here, put a soffit in, which we are talking about, uh, maybe screening something off, that this space would be a dry space that they'd be able to do that in. So we do have a, a drain that we put down here in the corner. So again, just in case, if at some point in the future, customers decide they want to make this into a screen room and we screen this in, if any water were to come in, rain to blow in through the screen, they have somewhere that they can broom that water to and it has a way to get out of the room and not, uh, not just be trapped in here. They can wash the floor, do those kind of things. So compared to the brick that we had previously, uh, this is just a, a really awesome finished product for them to be able to, to use and, and hang out outdoors. I'll take you over to this side. I'm sure we've got some before pictures that probably match uh, some of these angles that we can throw in and show you, you know, before and after how things looked. And 
and of course their beautiful deck up above. So they've got this awesome spot to sit out here and just look at the deer behind the house uh, out here in the field and uh, whatever other wild animals may come trancing through the backyard and whether they're playing with their grandkids or their uh, fur babies and the pets. This is uh, really gonna make this space that much more enjoyable for them before they had the, the brick that was down here and it was, it was, the grass was growing up through it. And it just really was, uh, it, it wasn't something that they initially enjoyed. It was somewhat functional. They could put the barbecue grill on it and, and have that you know, functionality out here, but it just wasn't as, as nice, as upkept as this is becoming here now that we've got this stamped cement with uh, some of the various different stains in there. If they eventually decide we're gonna put a soffit in, and maybe a year or two down the road, whatever it might be, decide to put the screen room in, you know, all those possible upgrades exist. And um, so this really came together nicely. So if our team can help solve a problem for you, the fastest way to reach us is of course through our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Cope Built. Just do a search for Cope Construction and Renovation and our page will likely come up there. You can check that out. We do do it all from roofing to siding to windows to doors to decks and everything in between. And of course the interior repairs as well. Uh, everything from renovating your kitchen or master bath, finishing a basement for you, all those interior plumbing, electrical things that drive you crazy, drywall repairs, uh, nothing we can't help you with when it comes to your home. Give our team a call. We have a dedicated office staff available to answer your calls weekdays from 930 in the morning until approximately 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008. Choose option 2 for Cope Construction and Renovation and extension 2. For new projects, Cope Build is your full-service construction and renovation company and the Pennsylvania Home Improvement Contractor number 88078. Remember, we're finished with your project. You'll be proud to say it's not just done. It was Cope Built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks for joining us on this deck tour. We look forward to serving you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.